Shakur, uh, seeing that this is a fight between two of the top guys here in a super featherweight division, if you get through this particular fight, uh, what does that mean for you there? And to kind of like say that you're one of the most skilled fighters in the sport of boxing. Uh, yeah, most definitely. Um, if I get through this fight, I, I've been looking my last um, few fights and every fight that I, I done had in my professional career, I see myself on the pound for pound list. Um, when I say that, I say that off of just from me going back to back fighting champions with no problem. It's not like I'm fighting somebody who got uh, a bunch of belts already. I'm fighting um, champion after champion. And then you got to understand Valdez has been champion since I was turning pro, like Valdez has been defending his belt since I was uh, having my pro debut. So just the fight that somebody that's been defending belts and being undefeated um, right after going against Jamel Heron, I think I deserve to be on the pound for pound list. Uh, even if I'm not the top of the list pound for pound, I know for a fact that I deserve to be on the pound for pound list. I'm not just fighting, uh, cherry picking fighters. I'm actually fighting fighters. So, all right, and we go one last question for Shakur, since he asked politely. Fred, let's see if you're on the line. Yep, Fred from the UK. Um, not old enough to buy a beer here in the US, but a good boxing reporter. So, Fred, uh, please go ahead and ask your question. Fred? Shakur, how you doing, mate? What's up, man? Um, just one question. I saw you sparring Terence Crawford, obviously, in the gym on your Twitter a few weeks ago. How much did you learn from sparring a party like Terence Crawford? How much did you gain from that? I gain a lot. Um, just to know, like, I can hold my own with one of the best fighters on the planet um, is a blessing. And uh, it definitely boosts my confidence to a higher level because I know that um, fighters like Oscar Valdez and people that's my weight, my size, they're not on the level of a Terrence Crawford. So um, I definitely gain a lot of um, confidence from it, and uh, I feel good about it. Thank you very much. And uh, Shakur, uh, last word for you before you go. And anything you'd like to say to the fans that will be watching on ESPN and uh, just the, the final thoughts as, uh, as you go back to training, Shakur. Nah, just tune in April 30th. I'm ready to show the world what I've been trying to show them since the beginning of my career. Some short.